somebody will sneak one into, let's say, visitation, or they'll drop them off somewhere. They could drop them off someplace or throw them over the fence. A lot of guys will, people will come up and just throw something over the fence and they grab it. And now they got a cell phone. I hear of five things I could not live without in prison. Coming in at number one is the ramen noodle. This is a real thing. Yeah. Um, it's super cheap. It's super reliable. And you just can't go wrong. It takes about three minutes to make. Every inmate stacks up on them. Don't be fooled. And they're delicious. Sometimes yeah. And they're delicious. I mean, I, I would, there were times I was eating four or five of them a day. And you understand that each one of those packets has basically your entire day's worth of salt in it. So if you're eating four, you're eating like four or five daily allowances of salt it's fucking you blow it up you're walking around like all filled up with water and we didn't have tops or bowls so we put a book just to keep the heat coming in at number two is the batteries batteries are super essential you need them for your headphones you need them for your clippers sometimes you make battery packs to start like fire if you need to start a fire or to charge whatever you need to charge coming in at number three is the razor now of course you want it to stay clean and, and neat but more so we use it to chop it is not always used as a weapon that is a misconception number four is stamps i don't know how much they're going for now but they was about five dollars a stamp and we use them to typically trade food or whatever you need and that number five is some headphones or radio you cannot yeah. listen to TV. now can you buy all the stuff oh you buy prison? all of it on commissary yeah. and, and and the thing is like so i get the uh it's amazing these guys will take a battery and they'll they'll use it as a lighter you know how to do that? No. It, it, this is what I'm saying. They're like, these guys are in, in – you know, you ever heard the mother of all invention or necessity is the mother of all invention? I think that's the, the, I think that's how you say it. But they'll, they'll take – they'll buy a thing of, let's say, potato chips. Well, in the potato chips, you understand the bags are partially made of like um, – um, they're made of like a tinfoil or something. Yeah, like yeah. They, they have like a metallic – people don't realize that it's actually some kind of a metal. It actually transfers – electricity yeah. guys will take a bag of potato chips and they'll cut it into thin strips they take you take one strip and you put it on the positive and one on the negative and that actually that arc of the actual potato chip bag will light up and get hot and you can use it to light a cigarette or light a joint or set a fire like guys will literally they'll walk around they'll pull out a battery boom boom bam fire just like that how the fuck do you even how, who even thinks of that <laughs> they they so that's one thing the ramen soup, that's that's funny, obviously, ramen soup because mm -hmm. um, it's super cheap and it will fill you up because, you know, you have to think you have three meals. Okay, well, first of all, like in state prison, they're not even feeding you enough. In federal prison, you can fill up on stuff. The food is crap, but you probably get a few good meals every every um, every week, yeah. you know? And it's not – honestly, in federal prison, it's not as bad as you would expect it to be. Like I really thought it was going to be just slop. Mm-hmm. But in state prisons, they're feeding them like, like dog food. Um, so, so the the food. So you need ramen noodles. You need something uh, to fill you up, or to you know, in between meals or something. Or what if you miss a meal? Um, so that's one thing. Uh, the batteries that the um, what was the other thing? Razor was, headphones. Yeah, the razors. Obviously, they use razors for everything. You mm -hmm. know, you have to cut paper. You have to do that. You know, some places won't sell scissors. So you need razors for basically, and they use it for cooking. They use it to, to you know, like you said, chop up little, you know, onions or. Now, like the cooking and stuff in the cells, like, is that like allowed or like what happens? Yeah. You know, most of the units have microwaves, yeah. but there will be a line for the microwaves. And as they break down, they tend to not want to replace them. Yeah. And so they'll get upset with the inmates because inmates will literally cook like they'll, the, the, the microwaves run 18 hours a day, almost mm -hmm. nonstop. So you're burning through them left and right. Yeah. And they're not industrial. Like they don't spend money to buy like a good industrial kind of commercial grade. They're buying the same stuff that they're getting from, you know. Yeah. And I, I saw this TikTok the other day. These dudes were grilling burritos, like literally on a something in the cell. Yeah. And you could see like they're toasted and everything. Like how do these people, how do they sneak in phones? I mean the phones, like I'd say most of the phones that come in, uh, guards sneak them in. But also inmates will sneak them in. You know, they'll, they'll go in. Somebody will sneak one into, let's say, visitation, or they'll drop them off somewhere. They could drop them off someplace or throw them over the fence. A lot of guys will – people will come up and just throw something over the fence, and they grab it, and now they got a cell phone. Mm -hmm. And then the problem is the cells are shut down all the time. So guys will take a cell phone, and they'll 
you know, hoop it. Yeah. You know, they'll put it up their keys, you know, their, they'll put it in their prison purse. <laughs> so, um, and so what happens is literally like, this is what's so funny is some guy will come up to another guy and go, Hey bro, man, I need to make a call. And the guy's like, fuck, because that's the guy who's got the shit in his ass. <laughs> and he's like, all right, man, hold on. I mean, I, I don't know about you. I can't imagine keeping something in my ass. And that's literally what they're doing. They, they're taking I mean, a cell phone. First, first of all, obviously, they're, it's not this. Yeah. But, but they are small cell phone. And, they'll, and, then they got, and then they'll put it in a bag. So it's in a plastic bag. So they pull it out. Then they take it out. And then they wash it off. And it's, oh, it's just so bad, bro. Uh, I've, I've honestly, to be honest with you, Connor, I'm going to be just perfectly honest that I have survived most of my life just by being handsome. You know, which, which really, which really <laughs> explains why I'm in the position I'm in right now, because it's failed yeah. on many times, many, many occasions. I listened to your uh, podcast the other day. <laughs> I, I heard all the stories of you, like, charmed your way through the banks and the story about, um, but you're going to the one bank, and the one guy was very uncomfortable <laughs> signing, giving you the he's, money. Yeah, he still, he still did. He's like, yeah. He literally is like, I, I, do you, you ever hear that? No. But the guy, he, he knew, they know something's wrong. <laughs> he knows it. But everything he checked on, he's like, they call here. The person says, yeah, that's right. Okay. They check this. Yeah, that's him. Okay. They check the, all the checks because I know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this to cover this. And this. so it all makes sense. So he comes out and he counts out fucking 29 grand. And he, and he, I take the money and I'm literally, it's so bad. I felt like I put it in a briefcase, like I'm taking it and I'm stuffing it in my pockets, mm -hmm. like, like a fucking savage. <laughs> and I know, cause I know there's nothing. And he made yeah. me wait like 30 minutes and he looked at me and he goes, um, what was I, was it? Oh, Sullivan. Oh no, I know I was Cugno, Mr. C I was Scott Cugno. He is Mr. Cugno. He is a, I'd like to say that I feel very apprehensive about this transaction. And I go, really? I go, what is it exactly? Like, I already got the money. I'm walking. I don't walk it out. And he's standing there with another woman from the bank staring at me. I'm like, what is it exactly? And she goes, he, and the guy goes, he goes, I, I can't put my finger on it. And I go, it'll come to you. And I walk right out of the bank. <laughs>